In this video, we will explain in concept how the deterioration model setup file works in JunoViewer. If you do not yet have any experience with a DMS file, this video would be a good place to start. If you have set up or used a DMS file already, then we suggest you look at one of the more advanced videos in this series. The DMS file is an Excel file that follows a very specific structure and format. The DMS file is essentially used as a calculation engine and an equation editor for setting up your model structure and equations. Let's take a look at how this works. So let's say for example that you have a, in your database a FordWorks program consisting of several segments. In this example we are showing only seven segments but of course in reality that could be several hundred, several thousands or even tens of thousands of segments defined on your network. And in this example, we have existing information in the FordWorks program related to the age, rut depth, and international roughness index, or IRI. Now what we want to define in our model is an equation to calculate the increment of the IRI that will step the IRI forward and deteriorate it over time. And let's say we've done some research, and in our research we found that this equation as, uh, is applicable. So for example, the IRI increment is defined by the rut depth divided by the age multiplied with a calibration factor. So how does JunoViewer handle this? Well, the DMS file provides a way for you to extract these values from the database, place it for this highlighted segment into the um, placeholder cell values. They are called placeholders in the DMS. And then, in a very specific location in the DMS, you can define the increment equation. And you can see the equation that I've put in here is exactly this equation here. I've taken the placeholder values for, for rut depth, divided it by age, and multiplied it by this uh, calibration factor. So once this, this equation is executed, of course, JunoViewer can extract that value go back to the FordWorks program and the modeling algorithm will automatically implement that to increment the IRI over time so that the current value will jump from 3 to 3.1, 3.2 and so forth depending of course on what the value of this increment equation is. So that's a conceptual example of how the DMS works. Note that the JunoViewer at no point inserts your entire FordWorks program into the DMS. Instead, JunoViewer actually places each treatment length values one by one into the DMS and uses the calculated formulas to go back and update your database with the forecast or future conditions and so forth. Let's look at the components of the DMS file. All deterioration models have certain characteristics or properties in common. In the DMS, blocks of your model setup are conveniently grouped on different sheets of the Excel file. So, for example, a DMS contains the following sheets. A general sheet, where all global model settings such as the inflation and discount rate are defined. Other properties defined on this sheet include type of model, start and end years, and so forth. There is also a parameter sheet where all of your model parameters are defined in columns. Each column represents a model parameter and for each parameter you will define aspects such as the equations that represent the annual increment, dependencies on other parameters, minimum and maximum allowed values and so forth. Then there is also a treatment sheet where all of your treatments are defined in columns. Again, each column represents a treatment type and for each treatment you will define things like unit rates, reset values where applicable, as well as the very important trigger condition equations. The DMS file is then essentially a template with certain blocks of information that need to be completed by you. You can expand your model by copying those blocks, for example copying a column on the parameter sheet to add a new model parameter. And then you can complete the details as needed for the newly copied block. You are free to use other sheets in the DMS file to add things like lookup tables, underlying equations or trigger conditions. Even figures can be added in your DMS. Of course you can also amply comment your DMS 
so that others can use or edit it in future. Before Juniview runs your deterioration model, a thorough set of checks is run to ensure that there are no inconsistencies in your DMS file. If any errors or inconsistencies are found, then you will see an informative warning message that tells you what the problem is so that you can correct the problem before you try again. Let's look at the advantages of using Excel to formulate your model equations. First of all, familiar syntax. Most modelers are already familiar with Excel's equation syntax and do not need to learn how to use a complex new equation editor. Excel's equation editor is also extremely powerful. Using Excel means you have full access to advanced equations and decision structures that can be used in your deterioration models. These include the use of if statements, including the use of AND and OR conditions, the use of lookup tables to look up calibration factors, reset values and so forth that are dependent on certain conditions. Self-commenting. You can make use of comments, named ranges and empty cells to insert comments and explanatory notes in your DMS file. This means that you can fold your documentation for your model right in with your actual model equations and logic. It's also integrated. Most bespoke equation editors will require you to exit from one screen and open another if you want to switch, for example, from viewing one model parameter to viewing another. However, in JunoViewer, since your entire model structure is contained in a single file, you can easily view aspects of the model, such as all your model parameters, in a single sheet or view. This makes it easy to very quickly scan the relationships between different parameters or treatments. Easy debugging. Since all your equations are contained in a single Excel DMS file, you can very easily test your model on the spot by filling in test values in the provided placeholder cells. This makes it much easier for you to quickly test your model as you define and refine it. Juniviewer also provides special tools for debugging your model online. So that's it for this quick introduction to the DMS file. In other videos in the series, we will cover specific elements of the DMS file in more details. If you have any questions or constructive comments on this video or topic, or if you would like to learn more about Juniviewer's powerful modeling framework, then email us today at info at Thanks for watching.